When you think of royalty, you might picture extravagant castles, luxurious vehicles, pearls, and lavish feasts. But the life of King Abdullah of Jordan and his family is a bit more nuanced than that. Sure, they've got wealth beyond measure, and live the life the lot can only dream of, but their lives are also steeped in tradition, charity, and a deep love for their country. So let's delve inside the life of Jordan's richest family, shall we? The Royal Family of Jordan, King Abdullah II's family. Just like most monarchical states, the affairs of Jordan are mostly governed by the royal family. And let me tell you, this particular family is one to watch. At the head of the family is none other than King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, the current monarch of Jordan. This guy has got it all. Slick suits and good looks that could launch a thousand ships. It's no wonder he's won the hearts of so many, including his lovely wife, Queen Rania. The two met at a dinner party in 1992, and the rest, as they say, is history. But wait, there's more. The Abdullah family is a big one, with King Abdullah having ten siblings, four brothers and six sisters. Talk about a big family. And as the first son of his father, Abdullah automatically became the crown prince. You know what they say, like father, like son, and that couldn't be truer in this case. After the unfortunate passing of his father, King Hussein, Abdullah ascended to the throne in 1999, and has been killing it ever since. Oh, and did we mention that they have four children? Crown Prince Hussein, Princess Iman, Princess Salma, and Princess Hashem. That's right, this family is not just about ruling the kingdom, they're about raising the next generation of royals. With a family this big, you know they're not just sitting around in their palace, they're out there making moves and taking names. And with that, let's spill the tea on the luxurious life of this royal family. Before he ascended to the throne, Abdullah attended the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom, where he received top-notch military training and education. He didn't just stop there, he held a ton of positions in the military field, including first lieutenant, platoon commander, and assistant commander in the 40th Armored Brigade. Brigade. This guy knows his stuff. But he's not just about tanks and guns. Abdullah also has a degree in international relations from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. Talk about a well-rounded ruler. And then there's Queen Rania. She graduated from the American University in Cairo with a degree in business administration and then went on to earn a degree in English literature from the University of Jordan. After that, she worked in the field of banking, starting as a marketer at Citibank and then moving on to a job at Apple Incorporated. This queen knows how to handle her finances. Queen Rania al Yassin's path to becoming one of the richest queens in the world is a tale of hard work, determination, and wise financial planning. But let's be honest, it also involved a bit of luck a charming prince, and a pinch of fairy tale magic. Rania didn't grow up in a palace or with a silver spoon in her mouth. She was an ordinary girl with extraordinary dreams. After graduating with a degree in business administration from the American University in Cairo, she worked her way up in the banking industry. Her experience in marketing at Citibank and Apple Inc. in Amman, Jordan allowed her to hone her financial skills and prepare for the opportunities that were about to come her way. As fate would have it, Rania's Prince Charles was none other than Crown Prince Abdullah II of Jordan. They fell in love, got married, and she became the Queen of Jordan in 1999. It was a fairy tale come true, but her financial journey was far from over. Rania's keen business sense and financial acumen became evident. As soon as she was crowned queen, she invested heavily in various industries, such as telecommunications and tourism, which contributed to her increasing net worth over time. Her ability to spot opportunities and and make strategic investments proved to be a winning formula for her wealth, as well as for the country's economy. With such a large academic portfolio, the royals have proven their love for education and academic achievements, so it will come as no surprise that they have both been vocal advocates for education reform in Jordan and are strong supporters of global education initiatives. For example, we have the King Abdullah II School for Excellence, Zarqa Jordan, which leads a shining example of dedication to education, offering top-notch facilities and resources to Jordan's brightest students. Royal Offspring 
When it comes to royal heirs that both look the part and are doing incredibly well for themselves, the children of King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan stand out not only for their striking good looks, but also for their intelligence and charm deserving of royalty. Crown Prince Hussein, the eldest of the four children and the heir to the Jordanian throne, was born on the 28th of June 1994 at King Hussein Medical Center in Amman. The spitting image of his father the king, Prince Hussein is a picture-perfect example of a modern-day prince. He graduated from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2017, where he received training in military tactics and leadership. He also graduated from Georgetown University, Washington, D.C. in 2016 with a degree in international history. He has since taken on many important roles in the Jordanian government and military. Hussein is a regent extraordinaire, having dutifully assisted his father on numerous local and international trips. As the head honcho of the Crown Prince Foundation, he's the mastermind behind some awe-inspiring technical and humanitarian initiatives. Impressively, at the tender age of 20, Hussein put his feet up as the youngest ever chairman of a UN Security Council session in 20. And to top it all off, after completing his studies at Sandhurst in 2017, he hit the global stage with a bang, wowing the crowd with his address at the UN General Assembly that September. He is also a down-to-earth guy who loves sports, and that can be seen to be accurate as he paid a visit to the Olympic Preparation Center of Jordan. With his broad range of interests and natural charisma, there is no doubt that Crown Prince Hussein will continue to captivate the world for years to come. Princess Iman, the eldest daughter of the king and queen was born on the 27th of September 1996. With her long, flowing hair and courteous manners, she's a true vision of beauty. However, stepping in the footsteps of her older brother, she has proven to the world in general that she is a lot more than just a pretty face. She studied at Georgetown University before transferring to the Parsons School of Design in New York, where she obtained her bachelor's degree. She is passionate about using her education to make a positive impact on the world. She's also a talented equestrian with a passion for horse riding and has represented Jordan in international equestrian competitions. Princess Iman is also a style icon in her own right. Whether she's donning a traditional Jordanian thobe or a glamorous designer gown, she always manages to look effortlessly chic. One of the many reasons why the paparazzi can never seem to get enough of her and her stunning looks. And let's not forget her impeccable taste in accessories. From her tiaras to her earrings and her necklaces, she knows just how to elevate any outfit. Princess Iman has remained humble, despite her royal status. From promoting education and health initiatives, advocating for women's rights, to supporting education, and helping or visiting orphanages. Her charitable efforts prove that she's not just a pretty face. Princess Salma, the second daughter of the king and queen, was born on the 26th of September 2000. With her reserved personality, she's the opposite of her outgoing and charismatic mother. However, don't let her quietness fool you, as she's a force to be reckoned with. When it comes to education, Princess Salma is top of the class. She also graduated from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst where she had an eight-week commissioning course, after which she was commissioned as second lieutenant in 2018 and also became the first female jet pilot in the Jordanian Armed Forces. She is currently a student at the University Southern of California. It's safe to say that Princess Salma is as brainy as she is beautiful. And speaking of beauty, have you seen the princess's jewelry collection? It's enough to make anyone jealous. With stunning pieces that sparkle and shine in the light, Princess Salma's jewels are a testament to her impeccable taste. But Princess Salma isn't just about looking pretty. Like her family, she's also passionate about making a difference in the world, whether she's working to promote education or advocating for women's rights. So, the next time you think about royalty, don't just think about tiaras and tea parties. Think about Princess Salma of Jordan, a woman who embodies intelligence, style, and compassion. Last but certainly not least is Prince Hashem bin Abdullah II, the youngest of the four children. Like his siblings, he's also multilingual, fluent in Arabic and English, and has a keen interest in sports. He attends the Royal Boarding School at Madaba and has also been commissioned as second lieutenant in the Jordanian Royal Army. The little prince has shown that he is ready to walk in the footsteps of his parents and siblings. It's clear that the children of King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan are not your average royal offspring. They've been raised to understand the importance of hard work and dedication, and it's evident in everything
everything they do. Whether it's through their studies, their philanthropic work, or their interactions with the public, they're a shining example of what it means to be a modern-day royal. With their grace, intelligence, and charm, they remind us that the future is in good hands. An investment portfolio fit for a king. As the wealthiest family in Jordan, the royal family's financial interests span across several industries, from real estate to finance to telecommunications. One of their most notable investments is in the Arab Bank, which is among the largest financial institutions in the Middle East. The family holds a significant stake in the bank and has been instrumental in its growth and success. Thanks to the Pandora Papers, we have gotten quite an exclusive peek into the king's royal real estate empire. King Abdullah II has spent over a whopping $100 million to add some stellar properties to his portfolio, all under some fancy schmancy shell companies. This includes a 14,000 square foot mansion in Malibu's Billionaire's Beach, complete with nine bathrooms, seven bedrooms, a spa, a gym, a movie theater, and an infinity pool. And let's not forget the ultra-luxury condo in Georgetown, D.C. With panoramic views of the Potomac River, rumor has it that his son Prince Hussein lived there while studying at Georgetown University. Let's just say that the king has his real estate game on point. With properties scattered across the globe, including a few multi-million dollar residences in London and a fancy house in Ascot, one of England's poshest towns. But let's not get too caught up in his lavish expenses. We have to give props to the Jordan royal family for their business savvy. While we don't know all the companies they own, because most of what royalty does is done under wraps, we do know that they've invested in some big players, such as the Jordan Investment Commission (JIC), which promotes national investment opportunities. Plus, the state of Jordan owns the Central Bank of Jordan, with foreign exchange reserves worth a cool $17 million, and even signed a jaw-dropping $7 billion deal with China in 2015. One of their most interesting investments is in the aviation industry. The family owns Royal Jordanian Airlines the National Airline of Jordan, which operates flights to destinations all over the world. This investment not only provides the family with a steady stream of income, but also ensures that they have a say in the country's transportation and tourism sectors. One of his most notable investments is in the telecommunications industry. Another noteworthy investment is in Fastlink Telecom Group, a major telecommunications service provider in Jordan and beyond. King Abdullah II's stake in the company has helped him amass a net worth estimated to be in the billions. Billions. The family's foray into these industries not only serves their financial interests, but also contributes to the development of Jordan's economy. Under the rulership of King Abdullah II, the family has shown its financial acumen by investing in various other industries, such as tourism, real estate, and banking, especially as the king is known for his willingness to take risks and has even invested in startup companies. The family is also committed to sustainable and clean energy and has invested heavily in solar power projects across Jordan. It's it's clear that the king and queen are not content to rest on their laurels, and their diverse portfolio of investments reflects their commitment to building a strong and prosperous Jordan for generations to come. In addition to their financial investments, the royal family also has a presence in the hospitality industry, owning a number of hotels, including the opulent Four Seasons Hotel in Amman. This luxurious property has been the preferred choice of accommodation for many high-profile individuals, including dignitaries and celebrities making it one of the most prestigious hotels in the region. But perhaps the most interesting thing about the royal family is their commitment to preserving Jordan's cultural heritage. They've established numerous cultural centers and museums throughout the country, including the Jordan Museum and the Royal Automobile Museum. Queen Rania is also a member of the Board of Trustees in the Children's Museum. She has contributed much to the development of the museum. These institutions not only showcase Jordan's rich history, but also also serve as a source of education and inspiration for future generations. She has also invested in telecommunications. She established the Queen Rania Foundation for Education and Development in 2013, which aims to advance education in Jordan and the greater Middle East. The Queen Rania Center for Entrepreneurship, which assists new and small enterprises in the area, was also established by her. Her shrewd business decisions and altruistic deeds have not gone unnoticed. So just how much is King Abdullah 
Nikola worth? It's difficult to say for sure, as much of his wealth is tied up in private investments and holdings. No surprise there. The royal family likes to do things hush-hush. However, estimates put his net worth at around $750 million, and Queen Rania's is estimated to be around $35 million. Of course, being a king isn't cheap. The king's official budget for 2021 was around $2.89 billion, which includes everything from his security detail to the salaries of his staff. And that's not even counting the cost of maintaining his various properties and investments. But despite the high cost of being a king, which we are willing to bet is a lot of money, the king seems to take it all in stride. And that is one thing we cannot help but admire regality and luxury. When it comes to luxurious living, this power couple certainly knows how to do it in style. Their palaces are more spacious than a game of Clue, and boast amenities that would make even the fanciest resort envious. After all, when you're the ruler of a nation, you need a home that matches your status, and the royal family has not one, but several grand palaces to call its own. Prepare to be swept away by the grandeur of the Abdullah family's primary abode, the magnificent Ragadan Palace in Amman. This stunning palace, situated in the heart of Jordan's capital city in the Al Makwar complex, is a testament to the splendor and sophistication of Islamic architecture. Believe it or not, this regal residence was constructed back in 1926 for a mere $1,600. But don't let the modest price tag fool you. This palace is a true work of art, with stunning stained glass windows reminiscent of the Al Aqsa Mosque in. Jerusalem and a design steeped in traditional Islamic style, Ragadan Palace is the perfect setting for formal events, such as meetings with foreign dignitaries and the presentation of diplomatic credentials to new ambassadors. It's even where the royal address is given following the opening of parliament. And speaking of royalty, it's worth noting that King Abdullah II himself now calls Ragadan Palace home. This is after the passing of King Abdullah I, and the magnificent property which still houses the royal family remains truly a sight to behold, and a testament to the grandeur and elegance elegance of Jordan's royal family. But let's not forget the real showstopper in the royal couple's property portfolio. This stunning palace, located in the capital city of Amman, this grand palace with its manicured gardens, ornate chandeliers, and plush furnishings, is fit for a king, and has hosted many state banquets and royal receptions. It is truly a sight to behold. With its striking architecture, it's no wonder that this palace is often used for state occasions and official visits. While the ragged Don Palace in Amman is the family's primary residence, a lot of people agree that it is the Al Husseinia Palace that truly steals the show. This palace is the epitome of grandeur and elegance, with its opulent furnishings, glittering chandeliers, and manicured gardens. It's no wonder that it's the go-to location for state banquets and royal receptions. From the intricate architecture to the lavish decor, the Al Husseinia Palace is a sight to behold. Next on the list is the magnificent Basman Palace of Georgia. Jordan, a true gem in the heart of the Middle East. This palace is a stunning example of the beauty and grandeur of Jordanian architecture, and it's sure to leave you in awe. Built in the early 20th century, the Basman Palace is a feast for the eyes, with its intricate designs and ornate details. Legend has it that the palace was built as a gift for a Jordanian princess, and it's not hard to see why. From the moment you lay eyes on it, you'll be struck by its beauty and elegance. The Basman Palace is a true masterpiece of design blending traditional Middle Eastern style with modern luxury. As you wander through its halls, you'll be amazed by the intricate details of the architecture. The walls are adorned with stunning mosaics and carvings, and the ceilings are covered in breathtaking frescoes. Every inch of the palace is designed to take your breath away. But the Basman Palace is more than just any other royal palace. It has a rich history, having played host to many important events in Jordanian history. From royal weddings to diplomatic meetings, this palace palace has seen it all. In conclusion, these palaces are true wonders of architecture, fit for a king and his queen. And rumor has it that the royal couple has a few more hidden gems tucked away in their property portfolio. So if you ever find yourself in Jordan, you might want to drop in and take a closer look at these royal homes. A collection 
of royal rides. Thanks to King Abdullah II's love for cars, the royal family boasts a huge collection of exotic cars. The king's love for cars is so great that he even has a museum dedicated to showcasing his impressive collection of some of the most luxurious and rarest vehicles in the world, which serves as a tribute to his late father, King Hussein. Walking through the halls of this car museum is like taking a trip through automotive history. The collection features a vast array of cars, from sleek and sporty models to rugged off-roaders, each one more impressive than the last. And while the cars themselves are certainly a sight to behold, it's the stories behind them that make them come alive. The collection includes some of the most coveted vehicles in the world, from the iconic Ferrari Enzo to the stunning Lamborghini Aventador, every car in his collection is a work of art in its own right. But it's not just about the flash and the speed. His collection also includes more practical vehicles, like the rugged Toyota Land Cruiser, Mercedes, and even SUVs, which are perfect for tackling the harsh desert terrain of Jordan. And let's not forget about the classic cars. King Abdullah II's passion for cars is evident in his impressive collection, which includes some of the most luxurious vehicles in the world. But he has a special place in his heart for Ford vehicles, and among his collection are some truly exceptional examples. One of the most notable is the Ford Excursion Limo, a sleek and stylish car with a luxurious interior that is perfect for long journeys. However, the crown jewel of the King's collection is undoubtedly his Rolls-Royce Phantom. This iconic car is the epitome of luxury and elegance, and it's no wonder that it's a favorite among royalty around the world. He also owns quite a number of bikes, ranging from the famous Harley-Davidson to the BMS Nemesis, his motorcycle collection is estimated to be worth around $400 million. And who can blame him? With a collection as impressive as his, we can't help but wonder, does the king ever let anyone else behind the wheel of these beauties? We can only hope that one day we could be lucky to see what it looks like behind the wheels of these stunning pieces. Not only is the king an automobile enthusiast, but he is also the proud owner of several magnificent yachts. One of his most most prized possessions is the Sarafsa, an 82-meter-long vessel that is ranked among the top 100 largest yachts in the world. The yacht was built in 2008 in Davenport, United Kingdom, and has undergone extensive restoration to preserve its classic beauty. This vessel is large enough to accommodate about 14 guests and 20 crew members, and boasts intricate woodwork and stunning winch designs in white and black. The Sarafsa is fit for royalty and can comfortably accommodate up to 14 14 guests and 20 crew members. With an estimated value of $75 million, this yacht is the epitome of luxury and elegance. But let's not forget that owning a yacht is not just about the vessel itself, it's also about the lifestyle that comes with that. The King's yachts are staffed with a crew of experienced professionals who cater to his every need. From gourmet meals to top-notch entertainment, what can we say? It feels really good to be the King indeed. But there is more, as the royal family has some good pieces when it comes to aircraft, and the king himself has taken things up a notch by amassing a collection of impressive jets. Yes, you heard that right. Not one, not two, but several jets that the royal family can call theirs. First up, we have the Airbus A340-600 Prestige, worth more than $260 million. This little beauty is perfect for short trips thanks to its impressive range and speed. With its sleek design and luxurious interiors, it is the perfect jet for a quick getaway. And let's not forget the bragging rights that come with owning a jet, huh? Next on the list is the Airbus A340-200, with a cost of about $105 million. This midsize jet is ideal for longer journeys, thanks to its spacious interiors and range. With enough room for up to 12 passengers, the Airbus is perfect for a family vacation or a business trip with the squad. There is also a Boeing 737 BBJ, which costs about $90 million, a converted version of the Boeing 737 commercial airliner. With its massive interiors and luxurious amenities, this jet is fit for a king. Pun intended. The BBJ is often used for official state visits and can accommodate up to 84 passengers. Talk about flying in style. Last but not least, we have the Airbus A318 Elite. This little jet may be small in size, but it's big on comfort and luxury. It has enough space for 25 people 
and has a worth of about $50 million. With its plush interiors and state-of-the-art entertainment system, the A318 Elite is perfect for a cozy getaway with your significant other. And let's not forget the added bonus of having a private jet all to yourself. No more long lines at the airport or annoying seatmates. From the sleek Cessna Citation CJ4 to the massive Boeing 737 BBJ, these jets are a testament to the royal family's love for luxury and comfort. Ultimately, the palaces, mansions, and cars owned by the King and Queen of Jordan and the rest of the royal family represent more than just lavish homes. They are symbols of the country's rich cultural heritage and the couple's dedication to representing their nation on the world stage. Philanthropy like royalty. Despite their wealth and status, the Jordan royal family isn't all about fancy properties and wealth flaunting. They roll up their sleeves, get out of their comfort zone, and mingle with the commoners when it is time to get the work done. The family has also set up several foundations and organizations aimed at helping the less fortunate. One such organization is the King Abdullah II Fund for Development, which supports projects in areas such as health, education, and community development. The fund has invested millions of dollars in in various projects over the years and has made a significant impact on the lives of many Jordanians. But the king's philanthropic efforts go far beyond his own foundation. He's also a major supporter of a number of international organizations, including the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. He's not just writing checks, he's also known for his hands-on approach to philanthropy, often visiting the projects and organizations he supports to see their work firsthand. He's also a tourism advocate who even played a travel guide for the Discovery Channel's Jordan the Royal Tour in 2017. And when a wildfire threatened to burn down his palace, he didn't shy away from the heat, literally. In fact, a video of the king dressed in pajamas helping to extinguish the fire went viral, proving that even royalty isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Queen Rania is also a tireless advocate for various humanitarian causes, from education to healthcare to women's rights. She has been a champion for the most vulnerable members of society. She has founded several initiatives to support education, including her foundation, the Queen Rania Foundation for Healthcare and Education, which focuses on quality education, success, and the prosperity of children and the community at large. She launched the Madrasadi Initiative, which aims to renovate and upgrade schools in underserved areas, with a particular focus on girls' schools. She has worked to improve healthcare services in Jordan and established several healthcare initiatives initiatives, including the King Hussein Cancer Foundation. One of her most notable charitable efforts is the Jordan River Foundation, which was founded in the 1990s by the last queen, and Queen Rania became the chairperson after the passing of the previous queen. The foundation focuses on improving the lives of Jordan's most vulnerable citizens, particularly women and children. She serves as a global advocate for the United Nations Foundation, promoting girls' education and women's empowerment worldwide. The Jordanian royal couple, King Abdullah II and Queen Rania, have garnered numerous awards and accolades over the years. And let me tell you, these aren't your run-of-the-mill participants participation trophies. We're talking about serious recognition here, folks. King Abdullah II has been honored with the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, which is the highest award that France can bestow upon a foreign national. He has also received the World Statesman Award from the Appeal of Conscience Foundation. This award recognizes leaders who have demonstrated a commitment to religious freedom, human rights, and tolerance. I mean, who wouldn't want to be recognized for promoting peace and understanding in the world? But the king is not the only one receiving awards as Queen Rania has also been working hand-in-hand -hand with her husband and has also received her fair share of awards for her philanthropic work. In 2017, she was honored with the Global Trailblazer Award by Vital Voices Global Partnership. This is an award that recognizes women who have made a significant impact on the world through their leadership and advocacy. She's been named one of the 100 most powerful women in the world by Forbes and has received the Walter Rathenau Award from the German-Arab Friendship Association. And let's not forget about her impeccable fashion sense, which has earned her the title of the Queen of Style. Now that is also an award in its own right. Let us just say that the royal pair is a match made in heaven. Together, they have also been recognized for their work to promote peace and stability in the Middle East. So let's raise a glass to these two benevolent monarchs, whose hearts are as big as their kingdoms, or maybe even bigger. And that's all the tea we have on Jordan's richest family. For more luxurious content like this, check out the videos displayed on your screen now. See you next time.